G'day guys, back in today. Um, I think we've got a relatively easy one, I hope. It's a intermittently cutting out 2005 Nissan Pathfinder 4 litre petrol. Um, customer states that it's cut out uh, while it's driving, it doesn't start again, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. No codes, um, automatically expecting a uh, possible crank position sensor. So what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the Pico to the cam and crank and we're just going to let it sit here in idle and we're going to do some deep recording. Just maximise the time on the screen, just let it run and see if we can see any dropouts. So we'll get set up and I'll bring you back when we're ready. Alright guys, we're set up here. We are on the cam position sensor down the back there. We are on the crank sensor down there through the wheel arch. And we're just going to leave it running and see what we find. Alrighty, so it's finally stalled. And we can see where we cut off both the sensors. What I'll do is I'll get you on the full screen on the laptop and we'll examine it. We'll zoom in and, and see what's going on. So we're just on Pico 7, which is very touchscreen friendly, uh, my touchscreen laptop. So what we're going to do is we're just going to zoom in on this area here and let's have a look at what we see. Getting closer, we'll zoom towards the end again. Just have a better look. As you can see, crank trace at the bottom. Cuts out about here, we lose signal around there. But our cam trace is still going, indicating that the engine is still turning, which means if the engine was still turning, the crank position signal should still be there. So we know we've got a crank signal dropout. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to get all three channels on the crank sensor, power and ground, to make sure that we're not losing a power or ground, and that's why we're losing our crank position sensor signal. So I will take you to that screen. All right, so this is a cranking waveform of our blue trace being the power, green trace being the signal, and red trace being the ground. So as we can see from the rulers, we've got the rulers all set up there, cranking. We've got a little bit of volt drop there, but it's not much. It's 11.6, 11.26 volts. Um, we've got our red trace, which is the ground, which is 227 millivolts, which is, you know, very normalish volt drop on a ground when cranking and our signal is the green trace and as you can see 142 millivolts it's basically nothing we have got the circuit integrity that we need and we've just got no signal coming out of the, of the failing crank position sensor so we're going to get a new sensor in we're going to put that in and we're going to recheck the car and see how it goes here we go guys new crank sensors in running beautifully been running here for ages confident 100% that this has been solved it's going to go back to the customer and they'll be mildly happy that they're not going to get caught out on the freeway anymore quick simple one not huge diagnosis involved there but 100% certainty and that's what we're trying to achieve so thank you for watching guys see you soon